And then coming out of Jeff, what do you have to look forward to? Well, I'm not coming out of Jeff. No, I mean, just generally. You know, if you... Nothing, really. I mean, uh, you, if you come out of Jeff, you ain't learned nothing. You don't know nothing. I mean, that little piece of paper don't mean nothing. I mean, that's all they're doing. They're going to pass you. If, I don't care if you're retarded. You know, you can be dumb as ain't Spain. You know, they're going to they gonna graduate you anyway. <laughs> what you going to do with it? What am I going to do with math? Yeah. What I'm going to do with math, what I'm going to go into is for the um, police force. That's the academy that I'm going in. You a pure police for that? I'm going to try it. What you gonna say? I'm gonna be a nurse, a male nurse. Yeah. Marijuana legal. At first. 
that's where when the marijuana's in the black community, in the Chicano community, they say, uh, well, just control them, you know. But then if the white people start seeing their white kids white use marijuana, they say, hey, this guy's going to put my kid in jail. We got to do something about this. So they can say, let's make marijuana be. Marijuana, uh, I believe, if people want to use it, you know, if, if they if they dig on getting high, you know, they'll be kind of, well, you know, it's them. I guess I'm just this type of person, you know, I don't like to get in no kind of position where I can't, you know, plant properly. When something take effect on me that I don't understand, it's, it's a feeling, you know, I just can't stand it. I tried it, you know, three times. I wasn't myself, and I seemed like I couldn't come back to myself right then. I guess I wasn't used to it, and I was kind of scared of it in a way. Whatever it is we feel that, that you feel that not only that you're having problems with, but that you want to learn, come on and we'll research it and we'll find out about it and you can take all of that back. And you ain't got to bait the teacher and go on and, well, you're wrong, you know, blah, blah, this, that, and the other on you, you know, because he's going to get all weird on you for then and going to start firing on you from a mental thing and want to send you to the VP's office for being smart. The Alamon Call Community Center program was set up to uh, get teachers and students, you know, together. Get them to know one another, you know. Our educational program in the school itself is falling down. Secondly, when you youngsters try to help yourself, you're not even getting school teachers to come here to help you. So these things ought to be examined. Why is this so? Okay, do you think you're as smart as uh, probably one of them white students out in Hollywood? Have you ever came in contact with a white student on your same age bracket? No, I have. Yeah. Have you? Nope. What about you? They were, I mean, you know, think I'm just dumb. There's so many things wrong with the schools over here in the ghettos. Black students in my school, they, they came up, you know, from uh, elementary school and junior high school, and uh, I'll say half of them, you know, don't know how to read. You know, they should have been taught those things in elementary and junior high school, and uh, they wasn't, you know, and uh, it's hard for them to go through high school, and uh, they're not really learning anything. I first came in contact with, uh, with some Bristol workers up at Avalon called the Community Center. They had just rented a building in the community, and they wanted to know what could they uh, open the building for. We discussed what we want this meeting, this group to be, you know, uh, what we wanted, you know, to have in this building. Uh, we came up with some ideas, with things we could do in the community, you know, using this for community center and. Uh, having some type of counseling program where if young people got, you know, harassed by the police or, you know, had trouble at school with administrators and other teachers, they could, uh, you know, come here and talk to someone. I found myself going to meetings up at uh, South Park, and they had other organizations up there, you know, Black Panther Party, and they was passing out some little red books, you know, quotes from Mao Zedong. So I picked up one of these books and started going through it. And I began to see that statement in there, and uh, political power grows at the end of a gun barrel. It began to stick with me. I read in the paper that they made a they made a brother admiral, one brother, one brother. They made him an admiral. You understand? They want everybody to get happy. They probably had it on KGFJ this week. You know, the guy started off as a post office clerk. He worked his way up. After 74 years in the navy, they made him an admiral. You are making progress. Seventy-four years. Progress. That's what it is. Progress. Are you a fool? How the hell is that progress, man? Wait a minute. What did you say? You just said a few minutes ago that. But it made me mad when you say talking about progress. No, you just said. How you gonna make it go high? How you gonna make progress, man? We change the society in our community and get power. We have. We don't have guns and machines and all this type of stuff. So you gonna infiltrate the police department? No, I right, you jumped the subject. I'm talking about the admiral. Okay, isn't what was the admiral's job? Was an admiral's job? Yeah. I think this guy here, he's going to command three ships by up in Alaska. You see, and he's going to make sure that the Russians don't steal all the tuna out of the water. <laughs> you, you see that picture up there on the wall, man? Every time I look at that picture, you know, I want to curse my brother out about that man. I say, okay, he came on the other day, you know. I just asked, him, is that necessary? You know. Okay, he said, yeah, you know, it is necessary. You know, we don't want communism to take over this country. So I said, hey, man, uh, regardless, you know, uh, you got all those people, and, you know, uh, in that hole over there. I said, hey, man, uh, don't you think we should, you know, stay in our country and try to 
do something in this country to straighten up everything instead of trying to go out and fight somebody else's war and ain't doing nothing but killing off a lot of innocent people, man. To me, a revolutionary is a person who wants change by either peaceful means or violent means if necessary. They have more out in once than they had before that riot, you know. I noticed white people was beginning to focus on Watts, wanting to find out what's going on in Watts, what's the problem, you know. What do these people want over there? And they were beginning to do something because they were scared. They didn't want it to happen again. That's why I believe violence worked there. The Black Panther Party started off, but every little youngster I see wanted to be a Black Panther, you know. But it seems like now, you know, they fight against each other, see? Uh, the pigs or the police department, or y'all not, y'all not used to that language, so I use police department. No, see, they, uh, the Irvine, somebody's a rookie or something, man. Yeah. You know what's going on. That's right, the Irvine, man, the pig, fascist, right on, man. <laughs> okay, the dog, whatever you want to call it. The police department and the pigs, man. And, you know, they didn't, uh, they didn't rip off all the black kinds of leaders, man. So the ones that's there, you know, yeah, they they good followers and no, they not leaders, man. See, they stopped the free breakfast program. You just said they had all the leaders. Maybe that's all they need. Another uh, leader. Another leader ain't gonna do nothing but get ripped up again, send to prison, and get shot or something. We get more and more and more. Hey man, how how far can we go? You got to. It's got to start somewhere. Hey man, look. Uh, We've been starting. That's the whole point. We've been starting all types of places, started. man. Starting. Started. No, started to be destroyed. Master, for the blessing upon each and every one which is in the building. 